Today, systems engineer Sherry Moore walks through the installation of an LSI 6 gigabit per second SAS host bus adapter in a Linux server. Today I'm going to be demonstrating installation of one of our 6 gig SAS HBAs into a Linux um, server. Right here I have a 9211-4i HBA that has a by 4 SAS port. So it plugs into a, a PCI Express slot. In this system, we have a few PCI Express slots, a by 8 and a by 4. We will connect the mini SAS connection to the board. And on the other end, we can connect to an internal backplane in this system that contains uh, four drives. As the system's booting, you'll see the LSI boot banner, and you can see that there are several drives um, displayed that are attached. We'll continue to boot. The system's booting the Linux Red Hat version 5.2. Now that our Linux server is booted, we um, go to the lsi.com website to the support and downloads page and come down here to public downloads. We can search. We know we have a 9211 4i board and we can see down here we found our board. And we have here where we display all the drivers that we support. I'm currently running Red Hat 5, so this is the version I'll want to download. And I accept and just save this zip file to my server. Now that we've downloaded our Linux zip package onto the desktop, we're going to open it, open this, the folder, and it contains a tar gz zip folder and open that within this folder there is a group of there's a folder called rpm stash one and that contains all of the rpms needed for loading the driver we package together the red hat slus 10 and slus 11 rpms so you'll need to choose the one that's for your particular operating system. Then they also are designated by the processor architecture. And in my case, I have an x86 64-bit system. So, and here's the Red Hat, so that's the one that I would choose. You'll find the right processor and operating system for your system. After selecting the RPM for your particular system, an operating system, you'll extract it. I'll choose to extract it to other and file system, user folder, source folder, and extract. Now we'll open a terminal and change directories to that user source directory. We can do a ls and see that we have our RPM here for Red Hat 5 x86-64. And we can also see whether there's been a driver already installed on this system. We can see the version of this driver is 4.0.01.00. The mod info space mp mpt2 sas command will display whether that driver, our driver, has been installed in this system and we can see it has not. Um, now we can run the RPM dash capital U VH and then the MPT we're going to use our, our RPM tab complete or copy to put that RPM there. Now we can see that the driver has been installed and the version should be now 4.0.01.00.
However, we will have to reboot the system before the driver actually loads. So we can simply type reboot. Now that we've rebooted our Linux system, we can open a terminal window and again use the mod info mpt2 sas command to display the current driver. And we can see indeed that we do have the new driver loaded. Then after that we can run fdisk-l to display all the drives. We can see the SDA 1 and 2, which are Linux boot drives, which were already in the system. The new drives that are connected to our board are four drives here, SDA B, C, D, and E. Those are one SATA drive and three SAS drives. Now that our driver installation is complete, please remember to visit the LSI.com website. Remember to check for new product offerings and software.